ഹലോ എവറി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു വിന്നേഴ്സ് ക്ലാസ് റൂം ഞാൻ രമ്യ വിന്നേഴ്സ് ക്ലാസ് റൂം എന്ന ചാനലിലെ ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഈ ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുക അതുപോലെ ഈ ക്ലാസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നെങ്കിൽ ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്യാനും ഷെയർ ചെയ്യാനും മറക്കരുത് ബിഫോർ വി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അവർ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് റിക്ലക്ട് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിൻസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദ ഇമേജ് ഫോർമേഷൻ ബൈ സ്ഫെറിക്കൽ മിറേഴ്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് വി ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് are 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v this formula is known as mirror formula okay the same thing the same formula can be taken like this also f is equal to uv by u plus v see we are doing the cross multiplication here and then we are taking the reciprocals that's enough so f is equal to uv by u plus v is same as this mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v now what indicates u v f and all u is the distance to the object from mirror v is the distance to image from mirror f is the focal length and one more thing is there f is equal to half of the radius of curvature of the spherical mirror okay these are the important points now in this chapter we come across two types of spherical mirrors concave mirror and convex mirror okay there is also some peculiarities for convex mirrors only virtual images can be formed see only virtual images can be formed by convex mirrors but for concave mirrors it can create virtual or real images but there also one thing is there real image is formed in front of the mirror only see if in the question it is indicated that the image was formed in front of a concave mirror that implies the image formed is real in front of a concave mirror means the image is real okay that is also a point now one more thing we know the cartesian form right cartesian method of sign convention and all see here the focus of this concave mirror is to this side right focus is to this side that means focal length is negative focal length is taken as negative for a concave mirror but for a convex mirror see this is our origin right this is our origin and this is the curve and the center of curvature lies here so the focus will be here see focus is to the right of the origin that means focal length will be positive that is also an important point f is positive for convex mirrors and f is negative for concave mirrors the next important point is magnification notated as m m we know it is the ratio between the height of the image and height of the object hi by ho hi means it is height of the image and ho is height of the object and we can calculate it with this formula also m is minus v by u now we have to find lots of significances from the value of m see m is positive means see when we draw the ray diagram and all we know we will draw the object like this right object like this means object height is always positive so m is positive means hi by ho is positive that means ho and hi both are of same symbol so both are positive see anyways object will always be uh, height will be always be positive so hi is also positive what does that mean positive means uh, image is also erect image is erect and what does that mean erect image from a spherical mirror means it is virtual erect means it is virtual now if m is negative negative means object is always object height is always positive so image is 
to towards down see image will be inverted inverted image is always real inverted image is real in case of spherical mirrors and some more points are there if magnitude of m is greater than 1 see if hi by ho is greater than 1 that means hi is bigger than ho what does that mean image is magnified height of the image is greater than height of the object means image is magnified and if m modulus of m is less than 1 see we are not taking the positive or negative symbols here we are just taking the magnitude modulus of m is less than 1 means image is diminished see less than 1 means hi by ho is less than 1 that means hi is less than ho that means image is smaller than the object now if modulus m of m is equal to 1 that means image size and object size both are same this is our first question a concave mirror produces 3 times enlarged image of an object placed at 10 cm in front of it calculate the radius of curvature of the mirror okay anyways we have a concave mirror okay now it produces 3 times enlarged image 3 times enlarged means m magnification is 3 but we have to decide whether it is positive or negative okay let us check what is given of an object placed at 10 cm so u distance to the object is minus 10 cm because object will be here okay that is why we take it as minus 10 okay then in front of it in front of it that is image is in front of the mirror image is in front of a concave mirror means it is inverted inverted image means m is negative okay so we got m minus 3 and u minus 10 now what we have to find calculate the radius of curvature of the mirror radius of curvature is 2 times the focal length right so first we have to find the focal length of this mirror now we know m is equal to minus v by u right m is equal to minus v by u that is minus v by u is minus 10 minus v by u is equal to m is minus 3 okay so we get here negative by negative it is positive negative number by negative number we get it positive so v is equal to See, we have to take this ten to the next side of the equal to symbol. Here it is in the denominator. So when it is shifted to the next side, it will become in the numerator. Otherwise, here it is divided by v divided by ten. Divided by ten when moved to the next side will become multiplied by. So three into ten that is minus thirty centimeter. So we got v as minus thirty. centimeter so we got the values for u and v from that we can find the value of f f is equal to uv by u plus v if you are not familiar with this equation you can use the equation like this 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v no issues but these two are same okay so f is equal to uv by u plus v how we will calculate so let us substitute those values here f is equal to u u is minus 10 into v is minus 30 by u plus v means minus 10 plus minus 30 plus minus 30 okay so minus 10 into minus 30 negative number into negative number is positive 10 into 30 300 by negative number plus a negative number negative number plus negative number the answer will be negative and 10 plus 30 is 
okay so we will get 30 by 4 minus 30 by 4 okay that is minus 15 by 2 or it is minus 7.5 centimeters so we got the focal length now actually what we have to find we have to find the radius of curvature r is equal to 2 times f that is 2 into minus 7.5 that is minus 15 centimeter that is the radius of curvature of this mirror this is our second question how far should one hold an object from a concave mirror a focal length 40 centimeters so I has to get a virtual image twice the size of the object see we have a concave mirror okay concave mirror of focal length 40 centimeter the focus of a concave mirror will be to the left right so f is negative f is negative and its value is given as 40 so minus 40 centimeter is the focal length now so as to get a virtual image virtual image in case of a concave mirror the virtual image will be formed behind the mirror and it will be erect image will be erect in this case virtual image means image is erect and twice the size of the object that means the image is twice the size of the object means m is 2 positive or negative see image is virtual means image is erect in that case magnification m is positive okay now how far should one hold an object means we have to find the position of the object that means we have to find the value of u okay m is 2 right m we know m is equal to minus v by u and it is what it is given as 2 so we know we can take this u to the next side of the equal to symbol so we will get minus v is equal to 2u okay now actually we need the value of u and f focal length the equation for the focal length is f is equal to uv by u plus v okay here minus v is equal to 2u means v is equal to minus 2u okay so i am going to substitute this value here in place of v u into v is minus 2u by u plus v is minus 2u so what we will get f is equal to u into minus 2u is to minus 2u square by u plus minus 2u is minus u okay here one u is there so the square will go off now what we got here f is equal to f is equal to see negative divided by negative answer is positive so f is equal to 2 times u see f is equal to 2 times u and in question it is given as minus 40 so 2u is equal to minus 40 because f is given as minus 40 so we got 2u is minus 40 now what is u to get the value of u we have to take this 2 to the next side of the equal to symbol here it is multiplied by when it is taken to the other side it will become divided by so 40 divided by 2 that is minus 20 centimeters that is the answer how far should one hold an object means it should be 20 centimeter away from the concave mirror this is our third question an object is kept in front of a concave mirror we have a concave mirror of focal length 20 centimeter focus will be here so f is negative f is minus 20 centimeter the image formed is three times the size of the object so m is three see magnification is three the image formed is three times the size of the object 
calculate the two possible distances of the object we have to find u okay of the object from the mirror calculate the two possible distances that is case 1 and case 2 are there in first case we think that the image formed is erect in that case m is positive that is m is 3 in case 2 we think that the image formed is inverted in that case m is negative that is minus 3 in these two cases we have to find the value of u okay we know m is equal to minus v by u right minus v by u is m and m is given as 3 in first case that is image formed is erect so what is the relation between v and u we are going to take this u to this side so we will get minus v implies this symbol is implies minus v is equal to 3u minus v is equal to 3u or we can say v is equal to minus 3u okay now comes f f is equal to what is the equation uv by u plus v okay we are going to substitute v in terms of u see u into v is minus 3u by u plus minus 3u this is minus 3u square minus 3u square by see u plus minus 3 minus 2u okay u here and u square here so we can cut it that is my negative by negative answer is positive that is 3u by 2 3u by 2 is equal to f and f is given as minus 20 so u is equal to see i have to take this 2 to the other side 2 is in the denominator here when it comes to the next side it will become minus 20 into 2 then okay uh, to avoid confusions i will write 3u here 3u is equal to minus 20 into 2 in the next step i have to take this 3 to the next side right so this 3 will be here minus 20 into 2 by 3 that is minus 40 by 3 centimeters this is the distance to the object in first case that is when m is positive that is when we get a erect image or virtual image now we are going to the second case that is image formed is inverted that is m is minus 3 the same method we have to follow see m is equal to minus v by u and that is minus 3 okay from this what we will get u is taken to the next side means minus v is equal to minus 3 u okay negative negative so we can cancel it right so we get v is equal to 3 u now we take this value to the equation of focal length f is equal to u v by u plus v okay and f is given here anyways we have to give the value of v here 3 u right 3 u and u plus again 3 u so this is 3 u square by 4 u see u plus 3 u 4 u here i can cut this u then i got 3 u by 4 3 u by 4 is same as focal length and what is that minus 20 centimeters so to uh, get the value of u 3 u is equal to this 4 will go to the next side minus 20 into 4 then in the next step i have to take this 3 3 here it is multiplied by when it goes to the next side it will come divided by so it is minus 80 by 3 centimeters okay so we got the two 
Cal uh, question was like that. The two possible distances. These two are the two possible distances of the object from the mirror. This is the last question of our video and this is related to a convex mirror. A convex mirror used on a moving automobile has a radius of curvature of 3 meter. So what we got the radius of curvature is 3 meter for a convex mirror. Convex mirror is like this right. Convex mirror see the radius of curvature and the focus is here. So it is positive. F is half of radius of curvature 3 by 2 that is 1.5 okay it is given in meter so it is meter see focal length is to the right side this is our origin so we take it as positive now if a truck is following it at a constant distance of 4.5 meter truck is away from the mirror, mirror right at a distance of 4.5 meters so the object is here in front of the mirror and the distance u is given so minus 4.5 meter is u find the position nature and magnification of the image that is we have to find the value of v and we have to find the magnification and from these two we can say something about the nature of the image okay so f is positive 1.5 and u is minus 4.5 so we are using which equation uh, mirror equation f is equal to uv by u plus v here f is given as 1.5 so 1.5 is equal to u is minus 4.5 okay v is unknown by u plus v u is minus 4.5 and v is v itself okay now we have to rearrange this equation so that we will get the value of v first i am going to take this denominator to the next side of the equal to symbol this denominator divided by portion when moved to the next side it will become numerator 1.5 into minus 4.5 plus v is equal to minus 4.5 v okay 1.5 into 4.5 we have to do the calculation here 45 into 15 we will get 675 it is 1.5 into 4.5 that is 1.5 into 4.5 means 2 decimal points. So, the decimal point will be here 6.75. And a positive number into negative number. The answer is negative. So, it is minus 6.75. Okay. We did this calculation. Then 1.5 into V. We are opening the bracket. 1.5 into V is 1.5 V is equal to minus 4.5 v now we have to take the terms with v that is the variable here no to the same side of the equal to symbol so 1.5 is taken to the other side here we have already minus 4.5 v and here it is positive plus 1.5 v when taken to the next side it will become minus 1.5 v and this is equal to minus 6.75 okay now what is left minus 4.5 minus 1.5 it is minus 6 v is equal to minus 6.75 so what is v we will get v is equal to we have to take this minus 6 to the next side right so minus 6.75 divided by minus 6. A negative number divided by a negative number is a positive number. So this is 6.75 divided by 6. We have to do the division also. 6.75 divided by 6. 1 times 
then 7 here again one time so 6 here then 1 then this 5 comes here so this is yes 2 times then 3 is here so 5 times ok 1.125 that much meter is the position of the image. See, V is positive means V. The object, sorry, the image is formed behind the mirror here. So, what is M? M is equal to minus V by U. It is minus V is this 1.125 divided by U is minus 4.5. Okay, we have to calculate magnification also. That is asked in the question magnification. So, we are doing this. Now, negative number by negative number, we will get a positive number. So, 1.125 divided by 4.5. How we will do this? See, here we can do like this. Here we have one decimal point, right? We are going to shift it to the right. Here also we have to shift it. So, 11.25 divided by 45. Both numerator and denominator can be divided by 5. So, it is 2.25 divided by 9. 2.25 divided by 9. Let us divide 2.25 by 9. See, we cannot divide 2 by 9. So, we put a 0 here. Then, 2 times 9, 18. So, 4, 5. Here, 5 times 45. So, what is the answer? 0.25. That is the magnification. From this, we can predict something regarding the culture or the nature of the image. See, M, the value of M. Magnitude of M. See, it is 0.25 means it is less than 1. So, the image is smaller than the object. That is the indication. More magnitude of M is less than 1 means image is less than or smaller than the object. Now, the next thing is M is positive. See, M is positive means the image is erect. Okay, the image is erect and it is small in size as compared to that of the object. Here the image is erect. Erect means what? It is virtual. So we got a virtual erect image which is diminished. Thus we have finished some important problems related to convex and concave mirrors. Please subscribe my channel for such videos. Thank you for watching.